Finally tonight, it is hard to pull off a surprise at the White House where ceremonies are meticulously planned, but they did. Ladies and gentlemen, the President and Vice President of the United States. Vice President Joe Biden walking into the state dining room. He thought he was there to join the President, the first family, his own family. Just a few days left together in the White House. The best Vice President America's ever had, Mr. Joe Biden. This also gives the internet one last chance to <laughs> talk about our bromance. The president, it seemed, was simply recounting some of his favorite moments with the vice president who became his trusted friend. And when the pope visited, Joe was even kind enough to let me talk to the holiness <laughs> as well. Pretty much every time he speaks, he treats us to some wisdom from the nuns who taught him in grade school. <laughs> but of course most frequently cited Catherine and Joseph Sr., his mom and dad. And not long after, the president with this. For the final time as president, I am pleased to award our nation's highest civilian honor, the Presidential Medal of Freedom. The vice president grabbing his handkerchief. For the first and only time in my presidency, I will bestow this medal with an additional level of veneration. Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to award the Presidential Medal of Freedom with distinction to my brother, Joseph Robinette Biden, Jr. The President doing the honors. I just hope that the asterisk in history that is attached to my name when they talk about this presidency is that I can say I was part of part of the journey of a remarkable man who did remarkable things for this country. And uh, Mr. President, uh, I, uh, I, uh, I'm indebted to you. I'm indebted to your friendship. Farewell in these final days. The vice president and his wife, Dr. Jill Biden, will be on The View tomorrow. I'm David Muir. I'll see you tomorrow night. Good night.